Welcome back to D20 Tactics. On this channel, I play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends, and we explore combat scenarios and play out the tactics used to defeat monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplaying. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Sarsen Zero, and today I'm joined by Longfish, Azure Wolf, Blind Oracle, and Drak Thimbalock. Together, we'll run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is the final encounter in the Snake Folk Lair, so if you missed the start, you can find a link to it in the description below. Grab your dice, draw your sword, and let's jump into combat. Hit points, abilities, spells, items in hand, Drac. I've only got 19 hit points, but I've got both Action Surge and Second Wind going into the final combat. Doing pretty good. I got this fancy new longbow. That, let's, let's try that for a bit. Blind Oracle. Short bow in hand. We're at 14 out of 25 hit points. We've used a couple of our tricks in the bag, so no more acid available, and we're down a bag of caltrops. No in-character abilities to speak of. Here's your wolf. 23 out of 25 on the HP front. Two first level spell slots down, one remaining. One second level spell slot down, one remaining. And my arcane recovery is down, and I have my owl out. Longfish. 25 out of 27 hit points, one level one spell slot remaining, and I have channel demon. I'm going to walk back my longbow for a javelin and a pike. Yeah, you see that minus one to hit? Yeah. So we got a thug who is in the middle and thoroughly charmed. Thugs have multi-attack maces and heavy crossbows. They also have pack tactics. Then we got three serpent folk, purebloods. They can all do suggestion. They can all do poisonous shortbows. So these are incredibly dangerous. We'll see how that goes. Terrain. Let's take a look at the terrain layer. There's a couple of posts here that you cannot move through, but you can move around. There's also these rooms that you can go into and out of. They have beds that are difficult terrain. And there's a staircase here that you can go down otherwise the statues are impassable with the bowls in front of them you could stand on or stand under so what are you guys thinking for fighting a squad of three casters in the front i would not take this fight <laughs> well if we go first that's a good shatter if i can get first that's a, yeah that's what i'm sitting here thinking shatter if not i can make that fighter be enlarged that way he's doing more damage each round i think we all get our own room <laughs> Just go to bed. No, for real, we do have some nice little spots. If we can get to them, this stairwell down here at the bottommost section, can we pile into it? Well, I mean, two of you could. We could use it for cover, right? Yeah, yeah. Cover all over the place here. So you can get behind the pillars. I think here the most important thing is going to be designating fire. We're just going to have to work them down one at a time. Can we name them Tom, Dick, and Harry? Absolutely, yeah. It's either I get the shatter off or I save my two slots for concentration breakers for magic pencils. Yeah. Well, I like that. And that's going to very much depend on initiative. Oh, man, so much of this depends on initiative. Yep. Yeah. Let's roll initiative. Anybody get above a 20? Anybody get between a 20 and a 15? 18 on the owl. 18 minus 1 on the clerk. 17 on the wizard. Anybody get between a 15 and a 10? A 10 for the rogue. Anyone have between a 10 and a 5? 8. And then a 2 for the snake folk. Are getting nuked. Ow. Let's fly him in that top left room. I'm sorry, the door is not open. The owl cannot operate a door. If that's the case, then he's going to get behind a pillar. There is a door right in front of you, and that door is closed. When the door opens, his action is to move behind a pillar. <laughs> Sounds good, thank you. Longfish. Open the door. Yep. I'm going to move to next to the pillar, right next to the owl. Okay. Sacred Flame, the slug. Fails. Go and roll the damage. Eight points. Azure Wolf. All right. We're rolling with that shatter strategy and have the one spell slot. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, move to here. Cast shatter at 60. What's the damage? It is 15. 15 or 7. Tom is going to take 7. Dick is going to take 7. And Harry's going to take 15. And the thug is going to take 15. All right, that's two squares of movement. You want to move back? Actually, I think I want to get behind the owl and go prone. <laughs> After that, we go to Blind Oracle. So the question is, do I start taking shots now, or do I wait? Do I hide a turn, see what they're doing, and then take shots? It's up to you. I think we take shots now. So bonus action, try and hide behind the fighter. Well, that'll do it. That's a crit. 27. Pop out. Shoot. Harry, the guy in the back, eastmost. Will an 18 hit? 18 will connect. 11 points of damage. Jump back, I imagine. Yeah, I think so. Bonus action, action, movement, track. All right, so I'm going to end in that westmost bottom room, but on my way there, I'd like to toss a javelin at him at disadvantage because I can't get within 30 of them. AC 16. 16 will connect. So 
Good throw at disadvantage. Five damage, and I'm going to my room. That was drag. All right, snake folk. I think that's what you wanted. You wanted to get as many susceptible to suggestion people out of the way. So they're just going to volley suggestions at you. We'll get within 30. Just so go there. Suggest that the cleric join their team for the next eight hours. That's wisdom, right? 23. Do it again. Suggest that you join their team. That's a 14. That'll succeed. So that's within range. Suggest again. That is a 11. And that will fail. So you are currently under the suggestion you are on their team for the next eight hours. Thug. Thug is going to pin the fighter in the room. He's going to dash to there. That's my turn. Ow. Uh, let's aggravate the one with the most DPS for the rogue, right? Yeah, that'll work. I mean, I can generate advantage for myself relatively easy. Yeah, well, the fighter's down there, and that's the problem. He just got pinned in. It would be for the... Myself, then, I get. Well, no. Yeah, let's go myself. Well, you're not going to roll the hit, right? Yeah, because I'm going to throw magic missile, so... Cleric. So you run over here, antagonize that guy, and then fly up to the northeast? Yep. All right, Longfish, go ahead and make an attack on the wizard. All right, 23, then. 23 to hit. I'm imagining that's going to hit. On the 8, 7 plus 2, 9. So that was Longfish, Asia Wolf. Magic Missile, the one that got the suggestion off. First missile is going to be 5. Second missile is 4. Third missile is 4. No point in making concentration checks because that is dead. Anything else on your turn? No, uh, I'm good. Blind Oracle. Let's shoot a caster. Bonus action hide. 14 to hide. 14 will. I think that's going to do it. Yeah, that's exactly what you needed. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and shoot between Tom and Dick. They have taken the same amount of damage from what I can tell, yes? That's correct. We'll shoot Dick. We're going to shoot Dick. 16 to hit. That connects. That's better. 18 points of damage. And then I would like to move. I'd like to hide behind the pillar next to the owl. Well, actually, hang on. Is that smart? No. I'll stay right where I am. Yeah, I don't think you want to be in line of sight of these guys. Staying behind the door where you're at, out of line of sight, is your best. But they'd have to do a lot of movement to get to you. That was the blind oracle track. All right, we're going to start with a bonus action to second wind. Uh, that'll give me nine hit points, taking me up to 28. I'm going to go ahead and drop the pike, uh, draw the, the maul, and try and smash this guy's face in. That's going to be AC 19, 13 damage. Oh, that's lethal. That's cool. I'm going to use some movement. Go up. I think this would be Dick. And once I get there, I'll go ahead and action surge. It's going to be AC 20. Yep. 10 damage. All right. Snake folk. I think we want to fight it. Well, the thing is the fighter is the least effective. <laughs> Don't think it's wrong way. Initiative wise, you're the least effective on my team because you're the rest of your team has the most time to break. You would do the least for me. I really want you, but you would do the least for me versus the cleric who will do the most for me. But is the hardest to have happen. Exactly, yeah. To be honest, it's getting inside that door, getting that rogue. That's what you really want. Yeah, but I can't do that from here. <sighs> Let's we'll go for the cleric. We're gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go for the cleric. Cleric, go make a wisdom save. Thirteen. Thirteen passes, and then we're gonna move away from this fighter. We're gonna hide behind this pillar. Second snake folk, same thing. Go ahead and make another wisdom save. Twenty-four. <laughs> and then we're gonna move here. Ow. Let's aggravate that thing for the fighter. Help action, longfish. Take him. I think fighters got this covered. I'm gonna go box the other caster in. Let's hit him with the inflict wounds. The last one, I think. Yep. For a 15 to hit. 15 connects. 22 damage. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's 22 points of damage. Anything else? That's me. Azure Wolf. Uh, I'm gonna continue to work on that southernmost guy. Ray of Frost. 13. That'll connect. 3. And then move back behind this pillar. Yep. Blind Oracle. I think we want to get the guy who's out in the open. Yeah, I'm trying to get the charm off the board. Bonus action, hide. 14. 14 is successful. That's exactly what you needed. Shoot the guy in the middle with advantage. Crit. Nice. Grab that sock full of dice. You say that. We're not at Shadowrun levels of dice yet. This is just base fireball. Come on now. We'll get there. Now, this isn't even base fireball. Fireball is 8 now. But see, it's not that bad. 19 damage. 19 points of damage. Okay, it had two hit points left, so it is toast. <laughs> and then back behind the door? Yeah. After the blind door closes the drac. I'm going to charge right at him and hit him with a maul in his face. I, I don't think I have advantage on this one, right? I don't see it. I rolled a one. That's not going to do it. Anything else? Uh, I mean, I swear. I'm done. Okay. I... I'm in the exact same position. Pick your poison. <laughs> 
We'll suggest the same thing on the cleric for the third attempt. I only have three of these a day, so go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. I suggest you join my team for the next eight hours. 16. 16 will make it. And I don't want to take an oppy, so I am done. After that, we go to the owl. Owl flies over and aids who? Uh, fighter. Longfish. Four hammer at 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20 hits. For a total of nine points of damage. Nine points of damage, okay. That's me. Two HP in a dream, Asia Wolf. Rain Frost. Okay, you're going to take the copious amounts of cover, or are you going to do a different play? 21. Yeah, that'll hit even with all that cover. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three is what you needed. Uh, two would have done it too, and the Snake Folk dies. With the Pure Bloods defeated, that's the final encounter in the Snake Folk Temple. The players will now level up to level four and move on to the next dungeon. Next week, I'll release a video with all six encounters from the Snake Folk Temple, and we'll talk about the particular challenges of the different encounters. Thank you for stopping by. I'm Saracen Zero, and I'll see you next time.